Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? How was the month of September for you all? I hope that you enjoyed and uh, you know they said the number nine in the Bible means results or bringing forth results. So I hope that this month brought you your prayer that has not been answered for a while and it was that month that you at least got a little bit of relief because 2020 has been hard on all of us so welcome back to my youtube channel uh sorry i want to start by apologizing for not being able to upload the story time series this month again <laughs> i have been a little bit held up by the way this has been a little bit of a hard month on me to my youtube channel if you are new here uh, kindly subscribe and uh, share this video if you like it because today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic which is the usage of hiv medication which are the ARVs, and herbal medication that is the conventional and non-conventional medication so uh, i am looking for an article here here it is so um, we all know we were born in the african traditional society and even if it's not traditional, we know that in the African culture, a lot of us have been exposed to taking herbal medication in one way or another. Uh, personally, I come from a community where taking herbal medication as a child is a thing. So you can't skip that stage. Yeah, it is, it is a thing. So as life keeps throwing things at us, some of us tend to seek cures in the form of herbal medication we believe that there is some herbal medication that actually can solve our problem which is now hiv and aids uh for example a week ago this man from zambia was trying to sell some hiv cure using my image on facebook i was very mad by the way please if you're going to scam people don't scam them using my name just do your own thing because so far i have not heard of any cure that has been that any herbal cure that has actually worked on people living with hiv personally i have tried a cure and it has not worked so a herbal cure that is it has not worked in fact i even stopped taking my medication for two years just to confirm that this medication works and it did not work so if you're going to seek a cure that you actually feel is working for you Kindly, don't discourage other people who are taking ARVs. So this is what I want to speak about herbal medication. Most herbal medications have the ability to boost your immune system, but they do not have the ability to suppress your viral load. When I say that, what do I mean? The immune system is like the CD4 count, which means it, the, the, it, your, your, the, the herbal medication can boost it higher, you know, but your virus level remains at the top. Why do we insist on taking ARVs? Because ARVs suppress your immune system. So, sorry, suppress the level of virus in your blood. That is the work of ARVs. It is to suppress your virus. So that when your virus is suppressed, it means that your health is back to normal. It means that even if you have unprotected sex with your partner, you cannot transmit it. Okay, it means that if as a woman you decide to give birth, you, the children you're going to give birth to are going to be HIV negative. That is the role of H of ARVs in your blood. Okay, that is the role of ARVs in your body. That is what ARVs do to you. So that means ARVs have more power than any herbal medication you may decide to take in the world. Why? Because you are assured of a suppressed uh, virus you are assured that your immune system is going to go up because then you end up having the leading a normal life like everybody else a lot of us seem to want to take the long route the shortcut you know why because we are we have self stigma like for, for various reasons for various reasons so what i'm trying to tell you today is uh uh, let me let me let me just read this article just real quick so some people believe that so long as they eat and drink some combination of herbs to boost their immune system then there is no need for them to be taking ARVs but this is however not true because the truth is some herbs are good for boosting the immune system and ARVs are important for HIV virus suppression 
to undetectable levels. And if you are undetectable, then you cannot transmit the virus. So the, what we are trying to champion here is, we don't want you actually to stuff you, your body with a lot of medication, no. All we want you to do is to enable that your viral load is low. Who does not want to reach that point where you know very well that I can no longer transmit this virus to another person you know very well that you have conquered the virus because every sorry give you power to conquer your virus they give you power to overcome you know and that is the reason why i advise you that i don't know whether there is a herbal medication that has been able to cure anybody from hiv I cannot vouch for any. I have taken one, it has not cured me. So I can't really tell you that there is this one, this one. I can't really vouch for any, any, any herbal medication on that on that space, okay? But there are some herbal medications that actually they do detox your body, they do cleanse your 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 body from the toxins that a, that the air is put in, the put inside our bodies because some of us experience weight gain, we experience uh, imbalanced um, body shapes, we experience skin problems why because sometimes the ARVs are very harsh on our body especially if you had let the virus to progress to a higher level so what i'm trying to encourage you to do is yes i can't tell you to take herbal medication but if you find a herbal medication that works for you then kindly go ahead and use it for other purposes maybe to boost your immune system but that is something you can do with something as simple as taking fruits and vegetables if you want you can do a detox full of fruits and vegetables that is even easier than taking uh, an unconventional medication that you don't have the right dosage for because you know with the herbs there's no medication there's no dosage you just take it and and sometimes it may end up colliding with the ARVs in your body and probably give you a wrong reaction and even compromise the you from reaching the undetectable viral load level. So please, uh, if you're going to take any form of herbal medication, ensure that you consult with the doctor first so that they can know what medication you're taking and in what dosage, what amount of dosage are you taking, okay? Also, don't stop taking your ARVs because somebody lied to you that they have a cure. I am speaking from a point of experience. Trust me, there is no cure yet for HIV. People are being cured, yes, but scientifically. And so far we have only like three people in the world, two, two who have been confirmed, the third one is still 50-50. So two people in the world have been cured. How they were cured is through, because they had other underlying conditions and uh, they got a uh, a, a donor who had another underlying condition that it was like a sort of chance and luck. So if you're going to take any form of herbal medication, please don't stop taking your ARVs, okay? And ensure that you're taking that herbal medication in the right dosage. However, I don't vouch for herbal medication because I don't know what herbal medication you're going to take. I, I always advocate for fruits and vegetables because they're easier they don't have any side effects and they're not going to affect you in any any particular way okay also don't let anybody lie to you that they're selling cures okay there is no cure for hiv yet one day it might come maybe but for now i am not there is no cure yet it has not been approved but we have very nice ARVs. they're suppressing our viral loads very quickly they are enabling giving us a second shot in life they're giving us the ability to lead normal lives like normal people to be able to give birth to hiv negative children to be able to have uh, normal relationships and marriages to be able to run our lives our careers and everything else that we may want in this life so please please i am begging you in the name of god don't go out there seeking for fake cures and stopping taking your medication i have gone through that path and it did not end up well yes i am alive today but not everybody else ended up alive some people died along the way so please guys if you are going to choose any form of herbal medication ensure that it is herbal medication that is certified because there is herbal medication that is actually certified and it is something that is going to help you okay but do not go about being lied to that this is a herbal medication that cures HIV because there is none like that. Can you take both herbal medication and ARVs? Please consult with your doctor first, okay? Before you start taking any herbal medication. That is all I had for today. And if this you 
liked the, this video and watched it till the end kindly subscribe share and uh let's meet again next week on friday bye bye see you in the next one